Hey, hey, y'all. How's it going? Dr. Maka, y'all. Board certified plastic surgeon. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. I wanted to answer this question about core repair and muscle repair, DR. Um, so DR, what is DR? DR is diastasis recti. Why is it called that? Diastasis means relaxation. Recti refers to the rectus muscles. So to understand what happens to the core muscles, I wanted to actually show you. Y'all yo, know me and my demonstrations. I wanted to show you the core muscles and what happens. Um, this is my anatomy book from medical school, y'all. Medical school over 10 years ago. And this whole, we memorized every single thing in these, all these books. Every single thing. Crazy. Thinking back, right? So in the middle of that journey, it was like, oh my gosh, like when is, is this even? And here we are, right? So any journey you're going through, remember that the hard stuff is going to pass and it is just a stepping stone to where you want to be. Back to the topic. <laughs> okay, so this is the midline muscle, right? This is the rectus muscles. These are the ab muscles. So these are your rectus muscles and these are your oblique muscles. So what happens in pregnancy? The uterus grows mostly in the central area, right? So the uterus grows out, but what happens is the rectus muscles move in opposite directions, right? So that's why we call it a muscle separation. So these muscles in the midline, the ab muscles actually separate. What that means is that there's a gap in the muscles and those muscles are really important for your core strength. Um, so when you have a gap in those muscles, muscles you can have a reduced a reduction in your core strength so like things like picking like we use our core strength for everything and so a lot of women i talk to before and after um notice a big difference in their day-to-day -day lives so let me just show y'all um kind of what happens right so you got the rectus muscles that separate right and this is just a demonstration let's demonstrate to y'all So these are the rectus muscles, right? And they have, so y'all saw the rectus muscles before? They separated, right? So they move, so this, this midline is now open. So that midline is actually, under the rectus muscles is the fascia, which protects the organs. But the rectus muscles give you that core strength to prevent the organs from kind of protruding. So then you can have a protrusion. Many women just feel like they look pregnant because they don't have that core strength. So in the repair, what we do, um, what I do, actually, I'll tell you what I do. So I do three layers of sutures to actually bring the muscles together, literally suture them back together. So there's an interrupted layer of sutures, right? So there's a layer of sutures that's just interrupted along the length of the muscle. What interrupted means is like suture tie, suture tie, suture tie. I do that with a permanent suture. Then I do a suture that actually I, it, I loop, right? It's like a continuous stitch all the way up and back up again. So that's three layers of sutures just to protect the repair. The idea there is just to repair the core and re-strengthen the core. So that's how I do it. I have a lot of videos on YouTube with that if you can watch more graphic videos. Um, and then I'll talk about recovery in another video. 